Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the Apex Trader Funding Challenge. We're going to take a look at all of my 20 accounts. We're going to see where we have the 50k PA accounts, where they're at, and we're also going to see where the 250k accounts are at. The purpose of this series is to just showcase that if you have the right trading skills and strategies and discipline, then you're able to earn unlimited amounts of money with no required capital of your own. You could only have a few hundred dollars to your name and you can earn thousands a month or tens of thousands a month by using prop firms as long as you have the skills and the discipline. So we're showcasing this series here by using these these funded companies combined with my own personal accounts. I'm using a trade copier to trade 20 over 20 accounts at once. So if you wanna follow along the journey, if you're interested in that, just seeing how we do that, hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's take a look at the current week update. For those that are new here, we will go over the previous weeks. So this was at the end of week one. And I say the end of week one, but at this point I had the accounts for one week. So basically this was technically the end of two weeks of me having these accounts, but this is the first video series. So after the first week, we made about $1,000 in profits. We had one PA account after the first week. These were all Apex accounts, means they weren't PA accounts yet. The end of the second week was right here. And as you can see, 18 accounts. Uh, at this point, we had two PA accounts and 500 profit in one, and then the rest had about 1,500 to uh, 1,800 in profit. Moving on to week three, end of week three was right here. This is where we got really close. We had a good week. We had about a $1,000 week, and most of the accounts were at 2,600 in profit. We had one, two, three, four, five, six PA accounts, and the rest were almost there. And then that's when we move on to the end of week four, where we had all of the accounts as PA accounts, and that was uh, December 27th, as you can see the date. It's December 27th, every account was a PA account. We blew one of the 50K accounts, and then I bought a 250K account. So 18 accounts still. So we have 17 50K PA accounts, one challenge, that's a 250K. The balances are all 50,000 or a little more with some profits, but most of them are at 50,000. And then the first two weeks of January is where I came into struggles. Um, the first week of January is really where I started to struggle, but the se this second week I was introduced into a new strategy and I just made some slip ups. We still made profit, but let's go over to the end of week five. So end of week five is right here. And this was last week where we were down 500 on the 50K accounts. You can see the account balances. The 250K accounts, I bought a few of them, got, got it to 20 accounts, as you can see showing 20 records. Uh, I had three 250K account challenges, that's why it says Apex, 17 funded accounts, and those fresh, those fresh PA accounts were down 500 on the week. And now, currently, we are here, end of week six, we made about $300 in profit on each account. The 250K accounts made a lot more profit because of a bigger size. And now uh, those 50K accounts are just down about $200. And then we have profits in some PA accounts. So we had a good recovery week. We made a little over $10,000 this week uh, across the accounts. And then my personal accounts as well that I trade made some more profits. So overall, it was a decent week. Um, again, like I said, it could have been a lot better of a week. My strategies did do very well, but I wasn't able to capitalize. So that's just an error on my end. Uh, I should have done a lot better this week, but I only did, I did decent, but my strategies did better. I introduced a new strategy and I was just kind of working out the kinks. I took a big unnecessary loss with it because you know, I had a new strategy and I took a setup that wasn't the strategy setup and that's gonna happen. You know, as you introduce new strategies, there's gonna have little hurdles like that where you think it's a setup, but it actually wasn't because it was a new strategy. You're just not good at, at implementing the strategy yet. So I took a loss uh, that actually cost me like $500 loss on all the accounts. And then since my strategies did good, I made back the profits. Um, basically should have been a one, should have been like 1K on each of these accounts, but instead of his 300 profit this week on each of the accounts. So, you know, we should have more of like a 30,000 week, but we had about 10,000 week. So, you know, we're just, I journal all these things and that's what I, that's what I suggest you do. So if you don't journal, I highly suggest you just start journaling your trades, why you took the trades, the setups. Uh, but basically, uh, going real over this real quick, you can see first three accounts of the 250K accounts, we got to get them to 265K. So they're basically at 254. We need 11,000 more um, to get to the profit target to get it to a PA account. 
and then um, first withdraw will be when we get these accounts to about 53,000 I'll be looking to withdraw some money so we're still pretty far um, I'm expecting the next two weeks we'll probably get a withdraw if you're unfamiliar on my strategy and how I do this then you can just check out the video I'm gonna leave up in the cards I made a video because a lot of people ask me how I'm trading and that video goes over the strategies of how I personally trade I know I use the five minute and the one minute I trade NQ pretty much exclusively a uh, little bit I trade ES as well but most of my trades are on NQ and the five or the one minute sometimes the three minute time frames and that's basically it I use I trade price action and I don't use any indicators really other than some MAs or possibly VWAP I'm gonna go over to the risk of ruin calculator I do this each week because I Think that everyone should back test their strategies, understand their win rate, understand their profit and loss, which is basically their risk reward ratio on each strategy, and understand how much they're willing to risk and how much they're allowed to risk without blowing their own account. Basically, the new one I'm rolling in right now, it has over an 80% win rate. It's about 85% win rate, and it's a one to one. But if I lowball it, then uh, it will be a 80% win rate, and it averages, you know, like one or two trades a day. Um, possibly about 10 trade opportunities per week. So even if you say, okay, we get 10 trades a week, our average risk reward is a one to one, and our average risk per trade is 1%, which would basically mean that I'm risking $500 per trade, then uh, my max drawdown is allowed to be 5%, and that's what, that's how it works on the 50K accounts. So the 50K accounts with uh, Apex it has a $2,500 drawdown, which is 5%. So if I lose 5%, I lose the accounts, and that's why we gotta look at risk of peak to valley drawdown. Then you run it on number of trades. We already said we have about 10 trading opportunities per week. So if we go by 10 trades and we say 1% risk, risk per trade, which is what I have, that's, what, that's actually using two contracts based on this new strategy. So if you use two contracts and I trade this, on, this one strategy alone, I have 10 trading opportunities per week. That's number of trades. Uh, average profit loss is 101R, max drawdown 5%, 80% win rate. That's what I've tested over um, about six months of data. I press calculate and there's a zero percent chance of me losing the accounts if there's no human error and i execute the strategy to the fullest now i have, a, I have multiple strategies so this is going to change but I, i'm looking to win you know wind down and don't don't take as many trades and just focus on one or two strategies and just use those one or two strategies so i'm taking less trades but i can have more confidence in it and better execution because i'm only focusing on one or two strategies like right now I have like five strategies that I, that I use, three main ones maybe, but like five strategies that I implement. So because of that, you know, sometimes it becomes overwhelming because I'm, I'm looking for signals for four or five different strategies and I miss an opportunity or I take an opportunity that wasn't an opportunity just because I have so much going on in my brain. So I'm looking to dwindle down to about two strategies. One, maybe two strategies I focus on and because of that I'll have less human error and I'll be able to put on two contracts instead of one contract. That's my thought process going into this next week. And I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't blow the account in one week, but maybe in the next eight weeks, which would be 80 trades. So next two months, what's the probability of me losing the account? 1%. So because of that, this lets me know, hey, you can just dwindle it down, stick to those two strategies, only use those two strategies and just stay really patient and wait for the, the prime setup or, or take no trade at all. And if I do that and I get better at it, then I will have less human error because I'm not focusing on as many strategies and I'm able to just take my A plus setups and also have more confidence. So that is my whole thought process going into the next two weeks. I'm gonna execute that. I'll let you know how this goes over the next week or two. As we do the up weekly updates, we'll see the reflection in the PL in the next two weeks. So that's gonna conclude this video. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos just like this. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see more of. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.